Hi there, welcome to this series of videos on programming logic. We would start with simple programs like even numbers, odd numbers, how to find if a number is prime, find factorial of a number and then move on to complex data structures and also algorithms. In this video, let's write a program to do the multiplication table. So basically what we want to print is a table in this form. So if I pass in a number, 5 and up to 10 so I want to print the multiplication table of 5 up to 5 into 10 so basically the output I'm looking for is something of this kind 5 into 1 is equal to 5 and then 5 into 2 is equal to 10 and so on so on so on up to 5 into 10 is equal to 50 so this is basically the output I'm looking for from this program this is called the multiplication table program uh, this is the first program where we are going to use loops we are going to use something called a for loop in this program let's clear this stuff out and let's get to writing the program so if you look at the program right now it's very simple I have a printable method with two parameters number and up to so basically if I pass in a parameter 5 for number and up to is 10 so I would want to print from 5 into 1 to 5 into 10. Um, if I pass in a parameter uh, 10, let's say number is 10 and up to is 20, then I would want to print from 10 into 1 is equal to 10 to 10 into 20 is equal to 200. So the way it would be is for we want to uh, use a loop to print the value. So I would start with a very simple thing. So I would just create a variable int uh, the count I'll start with uh, 0 it doesn't really matter because I would do the assignment here so for count is equal to 1 uh, I would want to go from 1 to up to so I would say 1 less than equal to up to so whatever 1 is uh, this loop executes executed starting from 1 to up to so if I pass up to value of 20, then it would run 20 times. If I pass an up to value of 15, then it would run 15 times. That's basically what we want because we want to print from number into 1, number into 2, number into 3, up to number into up to. So and then the third parameter is count plus plus. If you want a detailed video on the for loop, you can look up uh, the Java tutorial. Now let's just print a percentage D and I want a new line after each of the things and I would say I want to print the count. This is just basic. All that I'm doing is print the count. So what should happen at the end of this uh, logic is that it should print uh, the print numbers from 1 to up to so let's just say let's just run the program and see if it's working 1 to 10 so that's good so now let's get back to writing the program uh, what we want to do is print actually something of this kind percentage d into percentage d is equal to percentage d so uh, we want to print 1 uh, the number into the count is equal to the count value of number into count so now I will pass the appropriate values the first percentage D should be number because uh, it's the number which we want to print first the second percentage D is count so here the second percentage D here should be the count but that is one to how many values we which we want to print the multiple multiplication table up to the third value which we need to pass is actually number into count. So let's run this program and see what happens. If you look at the output, it contains the multiplication table of 5 from 1 to 10. So this is the program that we wanted to write and uh, we can call this function for any multiplication table 
that we would want to print. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.